Okay, thank you uh, for coming. Um, today is an important day for the South Australia Police. We've uh, released our consultation paper in relation to the new policing model that we're launching. Uh, this is a consultation phase where we're giving our workforce an opportunity to review the changes we're proposing as going to happen within the metropolitan area. These changes will see uh, a new approach to how we uh, organise our policing districts, moving from six local service areas to three districts, and a change in the way we deploy our general duties patrols. We're also increasing the level of centralised command and control that we have for our general duties police and enhancing the level of uh, interrogation we do to the, to the information we receive, which will free up our patrols and make them more deliberate in their response. I'm happy to take questions. Can you talk us through a bit more about the change from the general duty patrols and into um, response teams and, and graded tasking and how that would work? Uh, one of the key changes that we're proposing is that our general duties policing teams that we have at the moment will be divided into response teams and district policing teams. Our response teams will be dedicated to responding to calls for assistance that meet the highest level of urgency. Those are grade one and grade two taskings. Our district policing teams will be taking a, a longer term view in terms of policing issues within our geographic locations, focused on problem solving issues, uh, enforcement, targeting local offenders, and working more closely with the community to identify the core issues in, in those communities and resolving those to prevent the need for reattendance by police. So the idea of you know uh, being on duty in a particular area is that won't be happening anymore at all. We'll still have geographic boundaries that we'll have our patrols working to, but with a centralised command and control focus using a state response manager, we'll be able to, to we'll be able to deploy the closest patrol to a call for assistance, regardless of its starting point in terms of its geographic responsibility. Uh, using technology through um, vehicle location, we'll be able to see which patrol is closest, the type of patrol that is, and deploy that vehicle, that crew, to a tasking so we get there as quickly as possible and we have the right resources attending the right sorts of jobs. Are there any sorts of concerns around the types of officers who will now be taking the, the triple zero calls? Uh, triple zero call taking is going to move from police officers to our civilian call taking staff within the call centre. Our current model sees our civilian call takers handling the triple zero overflow when we have demands, peak demands on our um, services and we see them operating that function very effectively. So by employing the right people, giving them the right level of training and the right level of supervision, I'm very confident that they'll do as good a job as police officers in answering those triple zero calls. We're retaining sworn police officers in the dispatch function within our, commu within our communications group. So police officers will be manning the radios, speaking to patrols uh, that are attending the taskings. Have you had any resistance from some, perhaps, police officers who have been in those um, back-of-house roles who are now on the front line? Are they annoyed about it? Well, we've been, we've been talking about the reforms that we're proposing for some time now within the organisation. Uh, and this is a, a significant day in so far as where we're giving extensive detail to our workforce about what those changes look like. Um, I think people are keen to see what the changes are that we're proposing and there will be a general level of acceptance of the need for us to make, maintain our relevance and contemporary approach to policing services and uh, we'll wait and see what the feedback is that we get from our workforce. Can I just ask how the first couple of days of the new cycling laws are going from a police perspective? Uh, we've introduced an education phase for the new cycling laws, so uh, our endeavour at this point in time is uh, based on a need to intervene that will uh, ensure people understand those new regulations and comply with them as appropriate. Okay. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.